Our adventure begins on the beach. Right here, look at this, right outside of our, of our, of our house. What do you got, Dad? Here's the sneaker, you know. <laughs> This is the famous hotel, the Coconut Grove, <laughs> from long ago. And this was in Blue Hawaii. Elvis was wiped out by the hurricane. Which which hurricane? Iniki. Hurricane Iniki in 1992, September 11, 1992. Welcome again to a short visit from Hawaii with Mr. V. We're here in the town of Kapa'a. <clears throat> Kapa'a, that's Kapa'a, with my family. My sister, Cheryl Ann, is here to get an ukulele. Where? At the, uh, at the ukulele. Right across store. the street from this uh, old graveyard is Kamoa Store. Ukulele lessons. Tahitian pearls, and more. Let's take a look inside. At uh, Kamoa, Kamoa Ukulele, or Kamoa Ukulele. Very famous place. Take a look at this. Let's go inside. Cheryl Ann's gonna get a an ukulele today from Sam here. So how long have you been here, Sam? That's my 20th, 20th year. Wow. So this was Larry's shop. Larry Matsuda uh, started Larry's music in Waimea Town on the west side back in the 40s after he graduated Juilliard. Wow. wow. He's a Juilliard graduate from the 1930s. Wow. Larry Matsuda. Matsuda. And uh, he ran the store until he passed away. His widow continued until my family bought it. Wow. Wow. So we've got a 
legacy here. Beautiful. Yeah, he did Just, a really good job for the community. He went door to door with a panel van. Over the years, the vehicle changed, but it was loaded with instruments. Wow. Upright piano included, you know, stand up bass, and he taught, you know, music door to door for decades. Amazing. Cool. Blessings to the memory. Music for all. That was his credo. The sign. Yeah, so Kamoa is our, our modernization of the vintage uh, place. Yeah. Really, it's. They come up like. I had to make the decision to do full service music or only ukuleles, which is, you know, going back many years. and there was a rumbling and a murmuring going on and I said, you know, the ukulele is going to be the most popular instrument in the world. It was pretty obvious. So I, I decided not to do pianos, keyboards, oh, and other instruments. Specialized. Yeah. Specialized. Well, the name here. What, what, you. you learned ukulele online from Cynthia Lynn. Cynthia Lynn. She's here to pick up her, her instruments today. That's pretty cool, huh? Trying to decide. Sam's got jewelry here too. Beautiful pearls. Yeah, go ahead, take a peek. Surely. Sam does other stuff here too. So Sam, tell us again, how did you get involved with the Pearls? My first encounter with Pearls was when I was a child. And I was very fortunate to get uh, the Japanese divers at the SeaWorld went down and brought up a, a green pearl for me, which the gentleman who sold it to me at the place where you, you know, basically bought a ticket, went in and gave it to one of the ladies they were down. Uh, it was $20 for Ticket, and they offered me a hundred dollars for my pearl on the way out. It was my very first experience in pearls as a child. Yeah, and you were hooked. I was hooked. So I kept the pearl, obviously, but uh, it got me thinking. Yeah. And so I, yeah. You know, I've been looking at it ever since I'm a kid. And literally, we've had marine biologists come in who have been funded in the millions, you know, to study this as an industry. Who have said they have never seen such high-grade colors and such. Like, they're colored. They are. They're yeah, and honestly, most of the good ones are gone. I must say, we sell them. So, I don't, yeah. so that is a really hard colors. necklace to do. And you can take them out. Take them out inside for a second where there's light. Go ahead and look outside. Go ahead and look outside. Get a shot of that. They're 
iridescent. Oh wow, look at that. It's gorgeous. Yeah. Just amazing. Okay. These are shells from Ni'ihau, the Forbidden Island. Well, so how'd you get them, Sam? Back when we were at the Sheraton, we used to do ukulele lessons at the Sheraton in Poiku. We had a table. Um, we were teaching the, the guests. And the, the folks from the Ihao had a craft table and were selling their jewelry, and we came, became well acquainted with them. Wow. And eventually, it was symbiotic for us to kind of help out. Oh, sure. If you had any idea how hard their job is, that labor intensive. Oh yeah, I do. And and the truth of the matter is, is that they're expensive to the average person, mm -hmm. and it's difficult to explain it. For some reason, they were not able to explain how much time and effort they put in, and I watched them, you know, kind of failing on the sales end and winning on the art side. Mm. So, you know, I felt I felt I could probably explain it better than they were, and for years we did. And then most of those folks passed away, so I, of, of the lay that are in there and, and that are in our private collection, uh -huh. most of the lay makers are deceased. Wow. Yeah. So wow. it's a dying folk, it was a dying folk art when I jumped in to help out. So you brought your, your merchandising expertise yeah, and just to their artistic I basically expertise? basically and... funded them so they didn't have to sit there and wait to get paid. Wow! Wow! It's, what it's, a what an amazing it's a soul you are, sir. market price item, and we could market up to cover some of the overheads. It's, as we have successful product lines already, we yeah. can kind of leverage both boogie boards. Why one would ask, why does the Valley <laughs> Jewelry Store also have boogie boards? Fair question, because the surf shops sell clothing to pay their bills, right? And so, you know, we have to leverage off of our successful sure. ukulele line, Kamoa, to carry the other products that the businesses that you would expect would don't. Yeah. And so most of the surf shops uh, really supported our entry in the boogie boards about five years ago when uh, they sent us innumerable recommendations because we went big on boogie boards and they were just... Surfboards and clothing is pretty much where they're at. Yeah. And I respect that. You have to build. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Be cool. Yeah. This is the right place to go. Alright, so if you ever notice the color, where are we? What time are we in there? Kapa. K A P A. Kapa. Kapa. This is Kamoa store. Come get your ukuleles and your uh, boogie boards. <laughs> and your pearls. Now, is there a certain kind of strap? Yeah. You have a strap? Thank you so much, Sam. We appreciate you. Okay. I have a strap, but yeah. Wow. So, hope you enjoyed this short visit to the music store. Make sure you like this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that bell for updates. And as always, bye for now. Hey, look who we found. Look who we found. It's me and Des. <laughs> In about 50 years, hopefully they won't see that we're filming them. You'll be 100. I'll be 100 years old. Yeah. Okay, all right, Des, maybe like five, ten years. I don't want to make it so obvious that we're filming them, but hi, guys. Hi. Hi. <laughs>